Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, uh, I've been having some trouble with the gears. Uh, here's my issue. I set it all up using what they call test bearings. Got everything perfect, and then when I go to use the, the permanent bearings that need to be pressed on, uh, for some reason, everything gets thrown off. So that's been the issue. So I've been waiting for probably two weeks here now. I ordered some tools so I could press my own bearings on and off. So I'm just going to do a quick video today to see how they work because they are, they are uh, kind of on the cheap side. I got them off Amazon, pretty much the cheapest that I could find. So we're going to give them a test here today on uh, the old pinion, the old pinion and bearing. I'm going to see if I can, if I can get it off and then press it back on without any damage. Okay, so here's the old pinion and bearing. So you got to use the, the old race on top. And then this here, you slide this. Slide this in and it presses down on this and then the top part catches the top. And then uh, this goes in here. It captures the bearing. And then here is right. Slides under the bearing like that. And you put the other one in. As far as I know, you need it to, to be tight up against here and then tight on the bottom. And then there's a little ring that goes around here. Just tighten that up. That holds it in place. And as far as I know, now we just screw this down. It should capture the bearing. So hopefully this can remove the bearing without uh, doing any damage to it. We'll see here. Trying to go slow with the guns. She's off. So it did pull it off. Question is, did it pull it off without doing any damage? So, Seems to look good. So I'd say that tool works and it works quite easy actually. I'm surprised about how easily it did work. Okay, now the next test is tr to try out this press to see if I can press the bearing on. Okay guys, so here's a cheap press that I got, but it should be able to do this, I, I believe. So anyway, this here's the press on bearing. And I'm going to use an old pinion bearing that I previously cut off and just use that to I should press it all the way on, I think. Oh, yeah. So I'll put that there and we'll just put it upside down here. And hopefully this will work. So I'm going to... I don't know if that'll go down low enough or not. We'll find out here. It might not. I want to get it centered. Okay. And then I'll just go slow. Just so I don't break it.
These tools are cheap, so it'll probably be best to go slow with it. Okay, something's wrong. Doesn't want to. That might be the limit for the jack, maybe. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, we'll release it here. What I'll do is I'll just move this up to the next uh, next thing. I should have had it up there in the first place, maybe. I don't have enough goods to get her on. That's going. Oh. Something let go there. I'm still, I don't know what that was all about, but Coming smooth now. I think that's it. <laughs> yeah, so it worked. So it's they might be cheap, but they they still do the job, not that there actually worked really good. This one here is a little, seems a little touchy, but still worked. As far as I can tell, that's all the way down on. So uh, hopefully next week I'll have the rear end back under the car. Anyway, guys, I know it ain't much of a video, but I guess if you guys end up in a position where you need to do some rear end work, oh, I think I see now where that what that noise was. Looks like it took a piece right out of that. Anyway, it's still at work. Bearing's still in good shape. Uh, it's a little more investment than I, what I wanted to put in the car, but so if these gears don't uh, lower the the ET as much as I want, uh, you never know, I may want to drop back down to either stock or maybe 373s. So I think the 390s on the highway might be a little bit of a pain. So at least now I get the tools, and by the time I get this done, I should have the know-how how to, to switch the gears fairly easily. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.